Today I'm presenting you Little Gizmos. It's a Blender add-on that makes it easy to add your custom gizmos. The gizmos are these handles in the 3D viewport that you can use to manipulate objects and their properties without having to select them first, so it's a really fast way of interacting with key elements of your scenes. Blender already provides gizmos for many things, such as light direction or camera field of view. You can find them in the viewport's gizmo dropdown. But we'll see with Lily Gizmos how to create new ones that can drive virtually any property of your objects. I start by showing you how to set up this sofa here. It's uh, it's a model from Blendswap by Lauren17. I put the link in the description, and it's a good example because there is you see nighttime and bedtime. It's a convertible sofa basically, so it's meant to be animated. Let's start with the base scene with no gizmos. Just a quick tour of the scene. I reorganized it a bit so that you have all the controllers in a different collection. The controllers are the thing that we're allowed to move basically. We don't want to have to select them first and move them anytime we want to interact with the sofa. Let's create a first gizmo. For this you can either use the gizmo menu or you can create actually just a simple empty object and turn on the Lily gizmo option in the empty tab. I'm just gonna change its size a bit so that you can see it better. The first thing we want to do is to make this gizmo drive the drawer. So we'll go to the target section of the Lily gizmo panel and point to the drawer object. Now if I move the arrow this will drive the location of the drawer but not for the right axis so let's switch to the Y axis actually. It's better, but you see the arrow is vertical and we would like it to be along the actual axis. Changing this is really easy, you just have to select the empty and rotate it. Sometimes it doesn't update, it's a, it's a known limitation, that there's a button for that. So you just click uh, update gizmos and it will first update the gizmo. Now if I move the arrow, it indeed moved the drawer, but you'll see it's going backward. You have two options for this, the first one would be to just rotate the empty by half a turn like this now it's in line but actually I like the arrow itself to still be pointed in the other direction for this you have another solution you can use the factor here if I put minus one instead of one it will inverse the way the gizmo acts on the object so now it's still in the right direction but driving the drawer in the in the correct way Another thing now, the origin of this gizmo will be in line with the origin of the driven object. And here in our case, the origin of the driven object isn't really where I would like the gizmo to be. I'd like to be more at the front of the drawer. If I want to change this, it's easy. I can just move the empty gizmo like this. Exactly, now I can change the stem length and I'll just turn the shape to something that looks more like a drawer button. And here we are, we have our first setup gizmo. A copy pasting this to put on the other drawer is really straightforward. You just copy paste the empty, move it so that it's placed accordingly, and just switch the target from the previous drawer to this drawer, and we're set up. Let's do the rotations now. To do so, we'll add a new gizmo here of type angle, and we'll point it to the mattress. First, it's not driving along the correct axis, so let's switch to the X axis. Better. Now we also want to make the orientation of this widget more consistent, so we just rotate it like we did for the other one. Oh, it's not the correct way, so this time I could use the factor, but I'm just gonna rotate by 180 degrees. One nice thing with this is that by just clicking the gizmo, reset it to its default angle value. Now copying to the other one, once again it's pretty straightforward. Copy the empty and then just switch to the other mattress. So we can almost switch to night mode now. And all I need now is to move the pillows down so that they touch the ground. So we'll just add the last gizmo. We could just use the same as for the drawer, so move 1D gizmo. But actually we'll use the move 1D custom gizmo. Custom Gizmo allows you to use any mesh you've done as a handle. So we we'll start by making this new object and we can hide it, we don't need to see it. Now let's go to our Gizmo and pick it up in the shape list. Friends, we can just switch to triangles and, and scale it up. 
almost there we can place it now you can just move the pillow like so and we're all set for the night one last thing we have a lot of gizmos seeable so it's, it can be annoying we'll hide them to do so we just we don't hide them with the H keys otherwise it will hide the gizmos we we'll actually turn their size down to zero and disable their name and then use right click copy to select it to apply this to all the selected objects once and we can reset back for the day Okay, so in this second part, we'll see a case where several gizmos drive the same objects because now we want to move the modules like this that can also rotate. I'll just look at one of them for now, so I'll fully hide the other one and I'll also hide the gizmos from the first part. If I disable them from here, it won't automatically update so I can disable and re-enable them here and it'll force update. Okay, now I want to add a new gizmo, this time a move 2D gizmo. The move 2D gizmos have two targets. Here both of them will point to the same object and they're already set up for the X and Y location and I prepared a half circle shape like this. So now I can move this object. If we want to add the rotation, we'll make it larger and actually I'll turn them blue for this part. So this will point to sofa root as well, minus one in the scale factor. But we have a problem. When we move the object, the rotation stays here. To avoid this, we'll add on this gizmo a copy location constraint. It will point to the root as well. So now it will always follow. Alright, that's it for today, stay tuned as I'm planning a new video to talk about putting gizmos in bones and about cutting your own gizmos if you're a cutter, and also to talk about new features that are coming. Let's recall that you can get little gizmos either on the Blender market or on Gumroad. Feel free to contact me on these platforms or on Twitter if you experience any issue with it. <laughs>